Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the jewelry kit for Rhino. Remember, this jewelry kit is only for Windows computers and only for Rhino version 6 and Rhino version 7. The kit comes in both a free version and a paid version. The links to both are in the description below the video. And just to remind everyone, I really recommend that you get the free kit first to make sure that it works on your computer and to make sure that you like it. And then if you want those extra models, materials, and tools, go ahead and upgrade to the paid kit. In this video, we're going to go through the installation process for the free kit, but that's just so I don't have to purchase my own kit. The installation process is the same for both of them. It's just that with the paid kit, you first have to go through the purchasing process. Okay, so first you go to the kits page. Here on the page for the free kit, we just click on free download. This will take us to the download page. For the free kit, it will make you wait for 20 seconds while it prepares the files for download. This is only something that cgtrader.com does with free items. After 20 seconds, cgtrader will display the files. Download the ones that you need. You will need the installer file, which is a Python script, and we'll run that inside of Rhino, but I'll show you that in a few moments. If you want, you can download the installation guide, which is a PDF file. It shows you step-by-step step how to install and set up the kit, but that's more for people who don't watch this video, because this video is showing you step-by-step step how to install and set up the kit. Finally, you will need one of the zip files. You only need one of the zip files, the one that is for your version of Rhino. If you have Rhino 6, then get the one that's for Rhino 6. If you have Rhino 7, then get the one that's for Rhino 7. Download the files. Then open Rhino. Once Rhino is open, in the top menu, click on Tools, Python Script, Run. A file explorer will open. Navigate to wherever you downloaded the kit's files, which is probably the Downloads folder, and find the Jewelry Kit Installer and double-click on it. This will execute the Python script. The warranty disclaimer message will appear. Read this carefully, and if you agree with it, click OK to continue. A dialog box will appear. Click on the Browse button. A file explorer will open. Find the zip file for the jewelry kit and double-click on it. The text field of the dialog box should now be populated with the jewelry kit's zip file. Select the drive where you would like to install the kit. Drives that have less than 180 megabytes of free space will not appear. Removable drives, such as thumb drives or USB drives, will be included in the list. I hide network drives by default, but if you want to install the kit on a network drive, tick the box by Show Network Drives. I just didn't want anyone to accidentally install the kit to a network drive. After you have selected the kit's zip file and chosen the drive where you would like to install the kit, click on Install Kit. If you have already installed the jewelry kit on this drive for some reason, for example, if you've installed the free kit and have later upgraded to the paid kit, you will get a warning that the folder named Jewelry Kit already exists on the drive and that it will be overwritten and you will be asked if you would like to continue. If you click No, you will need to choose a different drive, or you will need to rename the original folder. If you click Yes, this jewelry kit will overwrite whatever was in that folder previously. Clicking Yes is usually the correct option, as I intend for newer versions to overwrite older versions in the future. But you need to be aware that you will lose whatever was in that folder if you click yes. Now you just need to wait for the installation process to complete. Once the installation is complete, a message will appear. The message will show the directory to the path 
tell you that the commands have been activated, and inform you that the kit's path has been copied to the clipboard. We will use that in the next section when we set up the library on the side panel. Click OK to continue. We're now going to set up the library on the side panel. First, we need to see if there is a library tab in the side panel. If there isn't, we will need to activate the library panel in the panels menu. If the library panel appears outside the side panel, simply drag it over onto the side panel. In this case, drag by the tab and not by the Windows title bar. Once you have dragged it onto the panel, you can drag the tab to change its position among the other tabs if you wish. Once you have clicked on the library tab, click on the menu button, which is these three little bars here, and then click on settings. This will cause the Rhino Options dialog box to open, and it will already be set to the library section. Now we need to click on the new button. A text box will appear. You can press Ctrl V to paste the kit's folder location into the text box. After you've entered the path to the jewelry kit folder, you can click in the white space here to confirm what you've entered into the text box, and then click OK. Now the jewelry kit's folder appears in the list of library folders. Go ahead and click on it. Now you have access to the folders of the jewelry kit on the side panel. It works much like any file browser, except that you can drag and drop items from the side panel into the Rhino document. We're done setting up the library folder. Now we need to set up the toolbar. Let's start by clicking on Tools, Toolbar Layout. The Rhino Options dialog box will open and it will be set to the toolbar section. Here, click on File, Open. A file dialog box will open. It should automatically open to a special folder where the toolbar files are, and a file named jewelrykit.rui or jewelrykitfree.rui should be there. If it's there, go ahead and open it. If it's not there, then something is wrong. I'm not sure I'll be able to help you, but I will try if I'm able to. So if you don't see the jewelrykit.rui file at this point, leave me a comment below the video, or you can contact me at cgtrader, at Twitter, or at Facebook. After you open the RUI file, the words jewelry kit or jewelry kit free should appear in the files list. You don't have to do anything else here. Just click OK. Three toolbars will appear. There's a large toolbar, a medium toolbar, and a very small toolbar. The blue icons are Python scripts, and the green icons are Grasshopper scripts, and the gray icons are Kit Maintenance scripts. The large toolbar has all of the icons on it. The medium toolbar has some of the Grasshopper scripts and also the Kit Maintenance scripts grouped together. The small toolbar has all of the blue icons grouped together and then all of the green icons grouped together. I really mean for the large and the medium toolbars to be docked somewhere. I like to dock mine here on the right. And you'll want either the large toolbar or the medium toolbar. You don't need both of them. The medium toolbar is if you prefer having fewer icons on your main toolbar. The really small toolbar is if you would like to have a floating toolbar that doesn't take up much space. But you can do whatever you want with the toolbars. And you are done. My next video is probably going to be about how to use the tools in the toolbar. Alright, that's it for this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you have Twitter or Facebook and would like to follow me on those platforms, the links are in the description under the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see all of you in future videos.